It's Who's J Beats. Let's stop getting lost in the sauce. I wanna talk about genres today, and I wanna talk about some genres that come with some unprofessionalism and politics, and I wanna talk about how that's affecting us as a community and creatives. I wanna talk about hip hop and trap. I would say that I've heard terms that are coined that are saying that this is a cheap genre, or this is cheap music, or there's no money in this music. And I kinda just wanna break down from my own personal experience, being in the industry, some of the situations that happened to me, and where I come from, just what it looks like from my situation, and how I've been able to understand that this is cheap music. The music industry is way bigger than what's being projected in this trap and this hip hop community. First, I wanna talk about politics. This is one of the communities with the most politics, you know, where people have to be liked, you know what I'm saying? It's not really on the talent. So you got to be liked 100%. There's a lot of hate, there's a lot of opinions, there's a lot of canceling. When it comes to this urban culture, it's a lot of bullshit. It really affects us in the business because there's some of us who really are emotionally attached to our music and we think, I'm talented, we collaborate, you treat me right, I treat you right. Let's just collaborate and get something done. That's what we all think is supposed to happen. I consulted with over 300 producers and artists over the past two years. So a lot of people that I've consulted with, I have to teach them these things. Character building knowledge, relationship building knowledge. People have to realize that somebody like me, I'm from Atlanta. Most of my family's from Stone Mountain. So me really being from Decatur on the east side of Stone Mountain, I grew up a certain way and I have certain qualities and certain values and I've been in certain situations that make me numb to certain things that other people aren't numb to. So when it comes to this genre and it being oversaturated, you got a lot of people who are probably more fit for pop and R&B and those type of environments and not really these environments. I think this era of microwave music is what makes it oversaturated. It makes it to where everything is getting kind of mixed up. Everybody's getting lost in the sauce. We're forgetting that in hip hop and trap right now, we're projecting an image. And most of us are projecting the image of our environment, how we were raised. So one thing we have to understand is if this is a cheap genre or there's not that much money being circulated in a million streams, you know what I'm saying? How many rap songs and trap songs are getting 100 million streams? How many songs are going diamond, do you know? How many songs are getting billions of streams? How many trap songs? How many do you know? Maybe one, maybe two. God knows if it's three. We need to understand who we are and the worth of who we are in this genre. You don't have to be the biggest trap artist to profit in this area, but if there's not that much profit in this area, you need to have ownership. You need to look past all of the money, cars, clothes, and hoes. Look at your own brand value and understand that you can have ownership in your shit. You can have ownership in this genre. When you go to pop music, R&B music, people are getting hits in those genres way more than hip hop. And a lot of us, we don't know what a hit is. Like I said, I'm talking about the 100 million streams, 200 million streams. You're not getting that all the time in these genres. I was just talking to an A&R yesterday, Victoria. Victoria was talking about going to Brazil and seeing how in Brazil, they just love the talent. They see you, if you're fired, let's get in the studio right now. All the politics are not there. We need to be educating each other. In the urban community, we're missing people like me who call myself the breed. The people like me that come from where I come from, yeah, we come from the trenches, you know what I'm saying? We don't come from business oriented homes. We don't come from that. So there's no way you're gonna think that you as a you yourself is a brand or a business or knows how to structure that business. So we don't plan. If you don't plan, you're planning to fail. Failing to plan is planning to fail. And that's what this most of this genre is. Now the last thing we talk about is the oversaturation. I started being a producer in about 2013. Now I've transitioned to okay, I call myself an artist. I do write songs. I help artists with vocal coaching. I do make beats. I do engineer. I do mix vocals. I do help with the rollout strategy. I do help with branding and marketing. I do help with PR. I have a lot of different relationships. So I elevated from 2013 all the way up. I was on SoundClick. I was on my flash store before it was Airbeat. I was there before Beatstars was out. So I seen the oversaturated go from, okay, it's us as producers and hey, I wanna collaborate. I'll send you some melodies and you send me some melodies and vice versa. We don't care who does drums and melodies. Now we have a lot of people who are, they wanna play the undercard. I make loops. I make melodies, I don't need a brand. Because we have microwave producing, we have AI producing. You don't even have to be a producer. You don't even have to know about sound. You know what I'm saying? You just have to have a little money and be able to pay somebody to do something for you. Or you just need to be able to know how to use this software that gives you all the fucking chords and the drum patterns, literally. Like Drum Monkey, Captain Chords. There's a lot of different VSTs that just give you structure to your composition. So you don't have to know how to make music anymore. That caused an oversaturation. Anybody with a laptop figured that they can make music. Why aren't there as many people on the laptop trying to make pop music as there are people on the laptop trying to make trap music? Because this is the pump and dump genre. It's cheap, it's quick and easy. I don't have to say shit. I can just get on the mic and talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. It doesn't even have to make sense. It doesn't even have to touch an audience. Well, let's stop quick pump and dumping. Let's stop doing that because the reason why we underachieve is because we aim high and miss, but when we aim low, we hit. So we need to start understanding that taking risks and getting something done that has a strong foundation it lasts longer in the long run. Why don't you work hard now, 
and have an easy life later. Let's stop trying to do quick pump and dumps, getting in the booth, wasting hundreds of dollars of studio time and promo into shit that has no substance. Let's keep this shit real. I understand you're talking about trapping hip hop is glorifying our environment. That's real. Your environment is what you've seen is exactly what you want to express. It's all expressions. But at the end of the day, this is the most unprofessional genre in this business. It's unprofessional. The people are. The a &Rs, the managers, they say they're a and say they're managers with no certifications and no credibility. It's just a lot of scamming and it's a lot of negativity and bullshit. But besides the point, I just want to be that bridge. I just want to be that person. I'm 23 years old, so I just want to let everybody know as a youth, being in the youth. I'm not somebody that's old and speaking down on the youth or young and speaking up on the older people. I just want us to come together and expand our sound. Go and make some pop beats, get a pop hit, get an R&B hit. More than likely, if you make pop and R&B, these other genres, rock, country, there's a lot of genres. You make these genres, it'll make you a better musician in the first place. So you can go make those and come back and be a better trap producer. And then you can really make a trap hit because now you're a musician. So I just want to get those points off my chest. I hope that helps some of y'all understand why you may feel the way you feel at home. You may feel like you're not getting anywhere, but at the end of the day, you might need to just go pick up a music business book all about the music business, Donald Passman. And just understand that you have value, you have a brand, no matter how you speak, how you look, your skin color, it doesn't matter where you're from or what you're doing, you matter. And that's the main point of this video. So don't get caught up in the trap in the hip hop scene thinking that, damn, I'm never gonna get let in. Go get let in in a different genre and then you'll be easily brought in to that circle that you wanna be in. Remember all the professionals, everybody that's really lit, they know each other. They're all on the same pathway, they're on the same frequencies. Just make a record because we're in the record making business. Let's focus on that. Let's stop all the hate. It's Who's J Beats. Follow me on Instagram at Who's J Beats LLC. The rest of my social medias are Who's J Beats. Subscribe to this YouTube. I'm dropping hella free game. Stay subscribed. Get my post notifications on. Don't get lost in the sauce. We got giveaways coming soon, so make sure y'all check out them live streams. I'm out.